Look at this craziness. So this guy messages me and he says, hey, can you please take a $20 offer on this item? But he didn't put it as a question on an item, so I didn't know what he was talking about. So I messaged him back and said, what item? And then he messaged me eight times in 10 minutes and said, this is the item, please message me back. And then he said, please message me back. And then he said, just my name as a message. And then he said, can you please respond? And I didn't even, like, eight times in 10 minutes. So I added him to my blocked buyer list because I'm not putting up with that. I would have taken his offer. Like, it was a $24 item. I would have went to, I would have lowered the price to $19.99 for him. But not if he's going to act like that. Holy cow. All right, so this obviously right now is not a super valuable hat, but I did find it today for a dollar. It says Aikman. It's so, but you can't even tell. I mean, if you're into vintage stuff, you probably know. Cowboys 8, it's Aikman. Troy Aikman, Hall of Fame quarterback. Um, it is stiff and quarterback club thing. I am going to see what I can do to bring this bad boy back. It's got the sweat rings. Um, no promises. You won't see this if it doesn't. If you're watching this, it comes out pretty well. Made in the USA. AJD. Team NFL. Pretty beat up. So this is the before. This is two capfuls of OxyClean and some laundry detergent and some hot water in a big old bowl. I don't really like to get the bills wetter than I need to. Um, good night. You can already see. Look how dirty that water is in a second. All right, I'm gonna let this soak a minute. But the water changed colors the second I hit there. So I have an iPhone 8. I think it's an 8 or maybe it's an X. I don't know. It's not new. Um, it's paid for, though. Uh, and I do everything from my phone. I shoot these YouTube videos. I'm going to move to a GoPro as soon as I figure out um, getting the... The issue is that I have a Chromebook. And I, what I, need, I need to get either a desktop or a laptop or something besides a Chromebook. Uh, but anyway, I do everything from my phone. And my phone has a problem when I try to take a picture of a black shirt on a white background it the white balance is really messed up so today I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up this because my old one was getting dirty and this is this is one of the main things I use to take pictures is these trifolds uh, they make just a really nice clean white background they store super crazy easy but Hobby Lobby had this, a black one. And I'm like, well, that's neat. And then they had like 10 colors. So I picked up a blue one too. I don't know what I'm gonna use that one for necessarily, but thought it was pretty cool. This is what I was making this video about though. Speaking of white backgrounds, this is a roll three foot wide roll, nine feet long of upholstery vinyl. It was $9.99 a yard, and I'm gonna use it as a backdrop for a lot of my eBay pictures. Um, I'll probably hang it, and then I can do like a mannequin with uh, clothes, or uh, I can lay it on the ground. I can take about anything with it, um, and it'll wipe up clean, unlike these cardboard things. So something that's going on with my business today is I'm working on getting better pictures through tools that I'm taking the pictures on. So it's been like 10 minutes and this is the state of the water. Um, hat, you can see some difference in um, like I see a line here. I don't know how evident it is on camera. I'm going to change this water out because Pretty gross. So this is round two dirty water. Still super gross. Got this little uh, 
fingernail brush. And you wanna be careful not to really, really, like this is a fairly soft bristle brush. You wanna be careful to not really mess up. You could do damage to the uh, embroidery if you're really getting at it. I have another fingernail brush. It's a little bit uh, wider, a little bit bigger. And so I'm just gonna go over the trouble spots and then show you what the spot, what the deal is once I get it cleaned sufficiently. So here it is. Um, it, it is noticeably better than it was, but it's still not great. So I am going, I'm gonna go ahead and dry it out and shape it up and see what it looks like then. So I'm just kind of letting it drip dry here back into that. And then I've got a towel. I'm gonna towel it off before I uh, do the shaping on it. So I have this hat that won't focus. There it is. That is kind of the shape that I want this other one to be. And so I put it in a Ziploc bag because it's in nice shape and I don't want it to get messed up. And I'm gonna put this one on top of that one. And then I'm gonna take those towels and stuff the backside to try and bring it up to shape. So this one was so far out of shape that I didn't I didn't feel like the hat trick was gonna work. And this is football, not hockey, hat trick. <laughs> it's a hockey joke. Um, so I took this, I took a piece of cardboard and formed it into there to really, I've really got to stretch it while it dries to get that hump out. Um, so I put the cardboard under that lip and bent it down to where I get this brim that I want and I'm going to try to stretch it enough to get that straight and uh, I put this snap pretty close so that I when I fill it with the blanket it uh, needs less to to get stretched. All right guys let's get into some what solds. This is going to be one of those days where I just throw up a whole bunch in a row because I uh, haven't done them in so long. And I'm not going to give you every item that sold because it would take forever. Look at this one. This is uh, Black Street. Uh, it's a CD that I picked up for 99 cents. The comps were at um, like $45 for listed comps, but there were no sold comps. I listed mine for $13.99 because that's what eBay told me the trending price was, and I knew that $35 was way out. And I was like, I paid $9.99 for it, and if I can sell it for $13, or I paid $0.99 cents for it, if I can sell it for $13.99 free shipping. But look out for some of this, uh, some of the 90s rap CDs will, uh, will make some money. And this one sold uh, overnight. It didn't sell like in minutes, but it did sell pretty quickly. So maybe I left some money on the table with that one, but... It, uh, it sold pretty quick and for good profit. Sold this Harley Davidson sweater with the green stripe. It is, uh, from the, it's from the nineties. I want to say it was like 97 sold for 30, $29 free shipping. I paid 499 at Goodwill. These, uh, glasses are from the eighties and they are somebody else's prescription, but I found them for 50 cents at a thrift store. And I was like, those are sharp looking uh, lens frames. So somebody's gonna want them. I listed them for, I wanna say I listed them for $19.99 and somebody sent me this $16.99 offer. And so at any rate, they sold for $16.99. Ooh, here's a good one, blankets. I bought this blanket for $2.99. I'll see if I can put up a price tag. I took a picture of the price tag and it um, sold in like 12 hours of being listed for $169.99 plus shipping to Arizona. Um, thing is, it's 100% cotton. It's made in the U.S. It's Ralph Lauren. This one's twin size. And if it was a queen or a king, it would have sold for significantly more. Like if it was a king size, it would have probably been $100 more than it was. Uh, but I think 
most people aren't looking for blankets and Goodwill isn't looking out for high-end blankets. So if you found this in a with a Pendleton, this the Aztec pattern helps it out a lot too. Um, this just kind of hit all the marks other than size. But keep an eye out for blankets, uh, comp things that are cool looking like this, things that have name brands, and sometimes things that have like cartoons on them too. But what we're talking about is this kind of sleeper thing where you may where a hundred people may walk past this and not know because it wasn't marked as Ralph Lauren unless you took the whole blanket down and took it apart. This um, was the next thing that sold. It's ra it's vintage Raiders. Uh, vintage Raiders stuff sells. I picked this up for 50 cents at the Habitat for Humanity store and it sold for $17.99 free shipping. Uh, and it sold in a couple hours too. That was a really good one. These Jordans, they are Bordeaux color and they are um, youth size, youth size four. And so kids shoes are like $3.99 most places or less. And so I picked these up and look at the insides. They are uh, scratched up and stuff and they still sold for $24.99. So if, if your thrift stores aren't marking up youth Jordans, Sometimes you can make some money. I mean, they're not selling for $100 or $200 like adult Jordans, but if you can pick them up for $3.99, they will sell on uh, eBay for $25, bucks, which I think is $25 plus shipping. Nope. These are $22.99 free shipping. But you put them in a... They're kids' shoes, so you put them in a region rate A box. I like this. Didn't make a lot of money, but it's cool. These are boxer shorts but they're not underwear, <laughs> they are boxers, shorts, uh, trunks, more specifically. Um, sold for, I paid 99 cents for them, I listed them, they were listed for a day, they sold for $17. Everlast, vintage Everlast is a, is a good thing. It's not, you know, home runs, but a dollar into $17 in a day. But I just, I thought they were neat, they're not the kind of thing that I've run across very many times, so I wanted to highlight them. These, um, I found these, the lady was pushing around a shopping cart to put out the shoes on the shoe rack at this thrift store. They were marked $29.99 and Pecos are not the best. Um, but these were kind of the high end of Pecos, uh, Red Wing boots and they were new in the box. So at $29.99, I knew I wasn't getting hurt. And so I picked them up and I brought them home and I, did some comps and I didn't find very super good comps on eBay, but I took the number off of the box and I went onto Red Wings website and you can still buy that same shoe. And that's where I figured out that the designation, the 4470, there's a like, there's an 1170 and a 2270 and a 3370. And these are 4470, which made them the highest end. I think as memory serves, it was something like that. But going on to Red Wings website got me information that told me these were better than a lot of the other ones that were listed. And so I listed them for $159.99 and uh, plus shipping. And they sold, uh, it was two days. It was super quick. Um, and the buyer paid, sh paid shipping, they were all in at $192. So that's a $200 pair of boots that I picked up for $30. This jacket, people were... There were a bunch of people at this estate sale and people who even pick vintage clothes were at this estate sale and everybody passed on this Lee jacket and me and a guy were talking about it. He's like, it's too busted. Nobody wants that. And I'm like, it's just busted enough. And so it sold for $30 free shipping. Uh, and I, I think I managed to get it in a, uh, padded flat rate, which means it cost me $7.75 to ship. Um, and I paid a dollar for it. And um, it is in bad shape. But I want to show you the feedback. The customer's like, it's perfectly distressed. And it's in, it's exactly what I wanted. And so I was excited to see that the, uh, that somebody wanted it in that condition. And I, I recognize that condition as being special and uh thought somebody would probably not pay extra for it but want that one because it's beat up uh, 
vintage Letterman jackets. They're not huge money. Sometimes they're really good money. This one I picked up for $4.99 with the regular jackets at uh, Goodwill, and it sold for $42.40 in less than a week. Uh, vintage Letterman jackets do well most of the time. Two real quick right here, another Harley sweater. This one had like, this is torn out, but like the collar part right here was opened. It had worn out so bad that this hem had, the fold had opened up. Uh, it was in pretty bad shape. I bought it the same time as I bought the other one. They both sold this week. Uh, this one sold for $20 in bad condition. Um, I am lucky that I got that. Um, and then this, uh, this Barney VHS tape sold for $21.99. Not all Barney VHS tapes are going to sell that high. This was a particularly rare one, but I bought $10. They were a quarter a piece. I bought $10 worth. And this one was worth $21.99. I haven't yet, but I will just list all of the rest of the VHS as a lot. And they'll probably sell for 50 bucks for, what would that be? 10, 40, 39 of them. Um, but that'll be, uh, I'll make money. Here's a case where something that you find uh, you can pretty well always rely on. This is the only reason I picked this up is because it's 100% wool. And it's no lander. And it's from, I want to say it was made in Norway, but I'm not going to get into the details on the page to find out. But it was, um, had a vintage looking tag in it, strange looking sweater, 100% wool. Hits a lot of marks. I picked it up for the $4 that sweaters were at this particular thrift store, and it sold for $30.99 plus shipping, so the buyer's all in at 50 bucks. Ash versus the Evil Dead. This was just with the regular DVDs, uh, and it was 99 cents, and it was the complete series special edition, so it sold for $18.99. I really like this piece when I found it. It was $4 with the sweaters and I bought it the same day as I bought the 100% wool one. Uh, sold for $19.99 just with everything going on with the USPS and how involved my life is with USPS because I do this for a living. I thought this was a cool piece. Sold for $19.99 free shipping. Found and sold my first ever piece of Patagonia. Uh, it was just with the regular jackets for $4.99 and it was at Goodwill, sold for $34.99. It's not the best piece of Patagonia in the world, but it uh, Patagonia sells because this jacket would have been $200 new. So there it is, um, stretched over another hat, a piece of cardboard, and in this case, a uh, tablecloth. Um, I'm going to go get my secret weapon, and then we'll wrap this up. And I'll do the after in a couple hours once I've let it sit. Tresemme is not a sponsor. Hairspray. If I hairspray the junk out of this, it'll help it hold its form once it's dried. And I'll make it smell pretty. Or at least like hairspray. So there we go. We're going to let that sit. This is the round two water. That was a disgusting hat. What's this side do? Oh, this DVD and this with a DVD player on the other side. And how much did you pay for it? One dollar. And how much did Dad say it's probably worth? Seventy dollars. Is that a pretty good day at the thrift store? Mm-hmm. I was super excited when I found this. I just tickled pink to be your friend. <laughs> I'm Levi. This is Lotso. I bought him at a thrift store for two dollars. He sold for forty-three ninety-nine.
$34.99, sorry. Free shipping? Free shipping and... And who thinks we shouldn't sell him because she wants to play with him all the time? This baby girl right here. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Judah. I found this metal magician shirt at Goodwill for two for two dollars and twenty two cents. My dad think it didn't think it would sell, but it sold for fourteen ninety nine free shipping. Pretty quick, right? Yeah, in two days. All right, so here it is, the Aikman hat. It is. Not fantastic. So, this is the before. It was probably beyond saving, to be honest with you. Um, maybe somebody with a lot more skill than I have could have saved it, but um, it's not terrible, but it was faded more than I expected. I'd hoped that cleaning it would bring that black color out a little bit more, but it's standing up like it should. I mean... That's what a hat should do instead of being, um, there's a piece of fluff on it. And I was like, what is that? It looked like a tear when I saw it. Anyway, um, it's kind of, it's in significantly better shape, like the shape of the hat. Uh, condition wise, the fade, I think hurts it a lot, but like the yellowing inside is way better. The sweat ring around the inside of the hat is way better and the form like it's standing up and so if you find a hat that is in better shape than this one to start and you do that they come out really well um this one the change is really big um but i don't think it brought it back enough to make it a valuable hat i'll probably still list it for 12.99 free shipping i paid a dollar for it but that would have probably been I mean, if I had brought that back to looking crisp, I would have probably been more like $25. So that's, uh, that's how that went. And I don't think I had anything else spectacular. I've been selling like crazy. I don't think I've done what solds in a month. So there's a whole lot more sold. If you want to see what sold, look at my store and do completed listings. If you have questions about anything, feel free to leave in the comments below or, uh, Hit me up, DM me on Instagram. Um, I think that's going to do it for the video. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you on the next one.